I'm Leo Chen. I'm the VP of Engineering at Harmony Protocol. I'm also driving the NFT initiative in Harmony. I'm very excited to launch the cross-chain NFT bridge live on our minute. Our cross-chain NFT bridge is a permissionless, decentralized, non-custodial bridge. So I own a lot of uh, NFT on Ethereum, but uh, I'm also afraid to do a lot of transaction on Ethereum because the, the gas fee is too expensive. So Harmony has a cross-chain bridge since last year. So we're bridging uh, Ethereum to Harmony and uh, BSC to Harmony, but it was supporting ERC20 token only. So now with the launch of the cross-chain NFT bridge, we're going to support the ERC721 and the ERC1155 NFT token from Ethereum to Harmony and also from Harmony to Ethereum. So how it works is basically when you want to bridge the token from uh, Ethereum to Harmony, you deposit the token into a smart contract on, on Ethereum and then the bridge will mint a new token on Harmony blockchain with the same metadata so that you have all the um, properties of the original token. If you want to bridge from Harmony to Ethereum, there will be the uh, similar process, vice versa. Why Harmony need to launch this bridge? In Harmony, we strongly believe we're in a multi-chain world. Multi-chain is the foundation of the metaverse. So every chain has their own community, and the community will build their own NFT and NFT collection. So in the multi-chain world, you have access to different NFT in different chain. However, uh, when you have a, a need to use your NFT as an identity or in the game item across different chain, uh, the bridge uh, is the infrastructure to support that. So we're still early in the uh, multi-chain world, in the metaverse. So there isn't uh, many uh, application being built uh, around that. But we strongly believe uh, when we build the infrastructure, we build the bridge to enable and we empower the DApp developer to build cross-chain NFT utility or cross-chain GameFi. Uh, that will be necessary for us to uh, support that. So that's why we launched the uh, cross-chain NFT bridge right now. As the things go, if we build it, they will come. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to show you a demo of the cross-chain NFT bridge to see how it works. Our first example is to bridge ERC1155 from Ethereum to Harmony. You put the token address and the token ID. Once you confirm your address, then the transaction will start it. The second step is for user to approve the bridge to lock the NFT token on the bridge. And then the bridge will lock the token on Ethereum smart contract. Then we'll wait for the Ethereum network to confirm the transaction. It could take up to 20 30 minutes, depending on the network. The final step, the bridge will mint the corresponding ERC1155 token on Harmony. As you can see, we successfully bridged the ERC1155 token on Harmony. Our second demo will bridge back the HRC1155 from Harmony back to Ethereum. So the first step to deposit the Harmony 1 token to the contract that will be used to pay the gas fee back to on Ethereum. And then we register the user token on the Ethereum network. The user needs to approve the bridge to lock the HRC1155 token on Harmony. Then the fourth step, the bridge will really lock the token on Harmony. The final step, the bridge will mint the corresponding HRC1155 token on Ethereum. As you can see, it successfully bridged the HRC1155 token from Harmony to Ethereum. The next demo, we're gonna bridge HRC721 token from Harmony to Ethereum. The first time you bridge the HRC 721 token to Ethereum is going to cost quite a lot of money to mint the token on Ethereum. The first step, we deposit the Harmony 1 token 
on how many to compensate the gas fee on Ethereum, and then register users, HRC 721 token on Ethereum. The third step, the user will approve the bridge to lock the HRC 721 token on Harmony. After the approval, the bridge will lock the token on Harmony. The final step, the bridge will mint the token on Ethereum. This may take up to 10-20 minutes, depending on the network speed. As you can see, you successfully bridge the HRC 721 token from Harmony to Ethereum. The next demo is to bridge the ERC721 token from Ethereum to Harmony. A cool feature we added is to verify the ERC721 token using the OpenSea API. If the 721 token is verified by OpenSea already, you will see a blue icon so it is verified by OpenSea. You can find the token contract and the token ID on OpenSea on Ethereum. It's a similar process to register user 721 on Harmony, and then user need to approve the bridge to lock the token, and the bridge will lock the token in the next step. And then wait for Ethereum network to confirm. The entire process may take up to 20 or 30 minutes. The bridge will mint the corresponding ERC721 token on Harmony. As you can see, we successfully bridge the ERC721 token from Ethereum to Harmony. Thanks for watching the demo. This is just the beginning and the first version of the cross-chain FD bridge. So feel free to try it. Ask for any feature we want to support in the future. And we only encourage all the developer, all the NFT builder, uh, come to uh, use our bridge and build exciting and uh, innovative uh, dApp and NFT collection um, on Harmony. So we do have a specific grant allocated to encourage NFT builder uh, to build uh, NFT tooling and collection and application on us. There's never been a better time to build on Harmony. So let's build the metaverse together.